is a review of the Anchor second generation Astro 6000 milliampere hour battery pack. Inside of the box, you'll find the instruction manual, the Anchor battery, which weighs four and three quarter ounces. And I like to point out that this battery is excellent. It's a perfect partner to throw into your uh, briefcase, pocket, or your purse. It had excellent testing results and is super high quality. You have a carrying bag which is nice because you can put it in there. It's not going to get uh, scratched up in your purse or nothing's going to get stuck into the ports. So that's a nice feature. And it comes with a charging cable which is 12 inches long. The first thing you might wonder when you look at this is where's the LEDs to tell you what the charge is and where's the switches? Well they're there, you just can't see them. If you shake the battery you can see the LEDs come on and the battery goes down to one LED and tells me that the battery is very low. We just finished our testing. This uh, LED has 10 positions so each LED represents 10 percent. Switch because the shaking motion what you do really disactivates it so there's no need for a switch. Here you can see I have the battery pack plugged in. You can see the LED circling that tells me it's charging and dimming. It'll start with one LED and that will tell me where the level is at the time of the charge. So it's, this battery is low because we just completed our uh, testing on it. This battery pack can be recharged over 500 times. Up here you'll see uh, two USB connectors. One's a micro USB and that's where you plug in this cable to charge the battery with. The other one is a smart USB output to charge your devices. Why do I say smart? It only charges your device with the current that it draws and needs and doesn't exceed the device's current uh, specifications. This is capable of outputting up to 2 amps but it only does so when it's required by your device. The charging port that you see here accepts an input of 5 volts DC and 1 amp. You can use a half an amp or you can possibly use a little bit more but no charger is supplied. I recommend that you use an AC USB wall adapter. The charge time at 1 amp is 5 to 6 hours and the charge time at one half amp is 11 to 12 hours. The only cable that comes with the device is a USB to a micro USB. You only have a cable to possibly charge an Android device. So if you have to charge an Apple device or some other product like a Samsung, you're going to have to use your own cables. The device was very efficient. It's designed to be efficient to a point of being 10% above the performance of other external battery packs. For testing, we tested the Kindle Fire and charged it from 25 percent to 100 percent and then we took the same battery pack uncharged and charged an iPhone 5S from 22 percent to 100 percent. We then charged a second iPhone 5S and it charged from 79 percent to 100 percent. The same battery and charged an iPad 2 that was at 10 percent to 12 percent. This is an excellent performance we were able to withdraw out of this battery 4,983.4 milliampere hours and compared to the 6,000 milliampere hour capacity that's an 83 percent efficiency that rates in the outstanding category. That means that this battery pack is capable of charging a brand new iPhone 5S up to 3.19 full chargers. This battery pack comes with an 18 month warranty. These are my detailed test results where I charged the Kindle Fire from 25% to 100% in two and a half hours. I then charged two iPhone 5S's from 22% to 100% and from 79% to 100% and the battery still had a charge in it. I then charged an iPad 2 2% and finally the anchor battery was dead. In charging these devices I was able to draw 4,983.4 milliampere hours out of a 6,000 milliampere hour battery or 83 percent efficiency. This is an outstanding result for this battery. I include this table in all my reviews because it lists the charging requirements for some common devices. This should help you select what size battery you need to purchase for the task you have at hand. Based on my test results you can charge an iPhone 4 351 percent, an iPhone 5S 319.5%, an iPad 2, 71.8%, an iPad 3 or 4, approximately 43%, an iPad mini, 
111%, and a Kindle Fire, 113%. This is an excellent battery and I recommend it. I mentioned before, this is an excellent size battery. Here you can see it uh, compared to an American Quarter. The battery weighs in at 4 and 3 fourths ounces, and what I really like about it is that its exterior surface is a rubberized paint coating that is just marvelous. It gives you a great grip on the product to keep you from dropping it, and I love the fact that it comes with an accessory bag that you can slip it into and put it in your purse, for example. I like accessory bags because I don't like to worry about things getting poked into the end of the battery, into the uh, inputs like a set of keys. These batteries are well protected by internal circuitry and nothing's been spared in the quality, but it's just a good idea to have a bag to carry it in. The best performing batteries we've tested as far as capacity and this little battery just gets the job done. I recommend it. It's a five star product. This review was done by JJ CEO. I'd like to tell you I received a sample for test and evaluation and I promise to give a fair and honest review.